my wife, Shalom. It's the brother Kai Yaw from Jim Miss New Orleans coming back at you with another quick run and talk. Prior to getting started, as I always do, I'd like to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaha Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation to the Akims that's pushing the truth and sincerity. Lord willing, this video be edifying first and foremost to the whole elect. Then to those that cleave to the body. I just want to get into a quick lesson on tapping in on brother's welfare. Okay. As we see all, all the things happening in the earth, all right, we got to be conscious and cognitive of uh, where brother's temperature is at, all right? Being it as, you know, that walk in the world, the way they battling the Satan once the cameras get cut off, all right? Just in general, right? Because it's a point of the uh, Holy Scriptures to understand uh, that we stay in constant communication. Now, you know, Satan preys on the, on the, uh, on the long sheep, all right? And then, uh, uh, when we excommunicate from the body, or, uh, you know, basically lead to we congregate again, okay? It have been but his best interest to know the welfare from the younger man to the elder brother to whoever. I mean, tapping in on welfare, like, even if you 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 busy, this is uh, the Lord have allowed a window in this world where we can definitely do that, okay? Now, the reason why I say that, I'm gonna bring out two accounts, and one of the accounts was, I'm, I'm gonna bring it out, you know? But before I get it, let me get this. This ain't gonna be long, this to the point. Because again, okay, men are, are, are in grave danger of walking that, that fire and that water. We really in a mess. Now, it, you know, as we said it years ago, years back, right, the things and the time and the signs wasn't as close as it was, as we are today, okay? So we ought, you know, as we have in our spirits to do, we ought that we keep keep our walk, all right, according to the way the Lord say walk in it, right? And this is a, a way to your matter of the law, because most, you know, again, sometimes it seems like Jay just get tied up in doing lessons and videos and working, and then he forget about the, to check on the welfare of others, right? Now, let me get this. And the welfare of others, his brothers know what I'm talking about. That's in the brotherhood. Okay, we we well aware well what's going on and what and how we are supposed to be doing it. All right, welfare. The condition of being or doing well. Now, if you don't just check in with a brother, you know, you don't got to always have something to talk about when you call a brother. All right? Or hear from a brother. Text. Right, all these are, the Lord gave us every form of communication that is possible known to man. And if you're not doing it, you got a demon on you. Okay? From the elder to the younger brothers, from the younger brothers back into the elders. If you're not doing it, as a clear demon on you. Okay? Because there's no way, as of right now, men are being afflicted at their highest. All right? Men are getting weaker. Okay, men, you gotta be checking men' faith, where they where they stand at, on how they saying the Lord. Some men may be falling back into the world. Okay, like you we we you can't go, you know, days, weeks without talking to a brother. All right, something have to uh, something have to click in your spirit to be like, wait a minute, man. You know, let me just at least see how the brother doing or. When you see our brother doing, you can also let that brother know it's an even exchange. How your welfare is going. All right? Welfare. It says, concern for the well-being of children. Right? Concern. Big concern. All right? concern. All right, now let me get this. This is uh, Genesis 43. Now, 
promise you it won't be long. At 27. Now this was, brothers can go and read the account, all right, but this was Joseph. Now, right, dealing with the children of Israel. But you can read the account for the sake of time, because I don't want to make this long. I'm going to be to the point with this. All right, Genesis 40, 27. And he asked of their welfare. This, this Joseph asking of his brother's welfare, all right? But more or less, Joseph asked of a particular person welfare whom we came of. We're the children of his bosom. It says that he asked them of their welfare and said, is your father well, which is Jacob, all right? Nightqua, all right? The, he that fathered the 12 nations. The old man whom you speak, is he yet alive? Because when you, if you don't, if Joseph haven't talked to his father and his brothers in years, all right, that they came back to him, you know, fleeing the famine, that the Lord uh, made true that which Joseph spake of, all right, that he had the dream of, that his brother shall um, serve him, was uh, all indicative into this time. But Joseph inquired about Jacob. Now, how powerful Jacob is to our nation, man. Joseph didn't have a phone at that time. They didn't have no ways of communication. But you see how important the welfare, checking on the welfare of others is, right? A brother could be about to die. He could have a wailing ailment, all right? And, you know, I mean, it, it's just so many, in so many uh, ways, Satan cocooning you, all right? When your welfare is not being, uh, or given out or, or asked about. It says, the old man and yet he speak, is he yet alive? All right? And they answered that thou servant of, of our fathers in good health, he is yet alive. And they bowed down their heads and made obedience. So Joseph asked for the welfare of the of, of the man that the Lord uh, blessed the 12 children of Israel about, man. Okay, even though that was his father, the point is, he wanted to know their welfare, his welfare, his peace, all right, his human relationships, you see, his human relationships, just the things going on week to week, man, that's part of the ministry. You can't just go by and by and just work all week and, and then it's just, it's just absolutely nothing, right? And then get with brothers at camp and dap and smile as if it's just, as if you've been talking to me all day. I mean, all week, or or tapped in with me to know how I was doing. You can't ask a brother how he doing on Saturday at camp, man. You could call a brother just the seat of his welfare. It says with God, especially in covenant relationships, which they got many scriptures, Hebrew 13, I don't want to get into it. I want to focus on the health, the prosperity, and the welfare and peace of your friend, man. Okay? As we text each other, Brothers tapping with me. You know, I tap on brother. Hey, brother, how you doing? All is well. You know, you get it from different brothers. Even different, you know, brothers from different states. Hey, brother, how you doing? I was thinking about you. I just wanted to tap in with you. All right? tap, give a tap, strike lightly, but audibly, right? Strike lightly, but audibly. Let's see what this word audibly means. You know, Jake like to say, I'm going to tap in with your brother. And it's important if you put a, uh, you know, you at work or something and you can't talk or, 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 or get back with a brother, it's important that you put a, a reminder to tap in. Or you make good on that reminder with that brother to tap in, man. Okay? Hell, and this goes to myself first. Okay? Audibly. In a way that can be heard. 
You need to be heard from when you can't be seen, man. Okay? This is uh, Exodus 18. This is a count. What Jethro, Moses' father-in-law. It, 18 and 7 and Moses went out to meet his father-in-law and did obedience and kissed him and they asked each other of their welfare and they came into the tent now Moses' father was a uh, I mean Moses' father-in-law was a heathen and how big the heathen the heathen man checked on wanted to know uh, the welfare and Moses returned the favor all right. Now we know Moses is an Israelite, but he even returned the favor of the welfare. And again, they probably didn't have time when they see each other, they had to check on each other's welfare. We have different means of communication now. And we still being sluggard and slack with it. All right. It's just unacceptable, right? Or all the leg thereof, you got some brothers that it don't apply to. But some brothers gotta, man, we gotta tap in, man. All right. The world on fire. You mean to tell me you forgot all week that's happened with any brothers? Come on, man. All right? The world is on fire. This is Job. Gotta get it. 30 and 15. And tapping in with some brothers gotta tap and they can't walk. They can't walk. All right, without direction and guidance from other brothers. Okay, because they're too vulnerable, they're too weak. You know, different things like that. Now, yeah, we pray through the Lord, he strengthen them and protect them, but you gotta be tapping in, man. So brothers can help you walk in your direction to do things you don't know you're not supposed to be doing. More or less younger brothers, just like myself, I'm a younger brother, respectfully, but even younger brothers, you know? Job 3rd and 15. It says, terrors are turned upon me. They pursue my soul as the wind and my welfare pass it away as a cloud. So Satan could be having, could, could be sending all kind of demons and tests and trials your way, man. All right. And you're not even getting counsel from brothers because you could tell brothers, hey, man, I had this run in with Satan, you know, or, or you know, or, or evil. And I just didn't know what to do. All right. Even when you didn't know what to do or what to choose, you still ain't after that. Hit a butt up and even be like, man, I had this issue. What you think I should have did? You know? Your welfare passing away is going swiftly. All right? Because one minute you see a welfare, one minute you don't. This welfare right here says... Strong's age, 3444. Yeshua. Yeshua. Or Yahshua. Yeshua. Yeah, which is, we know that ain't the pronouncing. This Yiddish shit is off. It says salvation and de uh, deliverance. So when terrors are on you, your salvation and your deliverance, all right, or the victory can uh, escape you. You can allow that to escape you because you might not make the right decisions, man. Right? This all uh, get out of here with this. I ain't want to make it long. Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 25. 20, yeah. It says, receive therefore instruction through my words. All right? A brother got words to offer each other through tapping in, man. All right? We got instructions of the Lord and still within our spirits that we ought to distribute to the necessity of the saints. You see? So be not forgetful to, to tap in, man. It says, and it shall do you good. Right? You'll be, we'll be prospering in the words we're able to share between each other. Just tapping in. Come on. 
be an exhortation. All right, an admonishment for better that to the saving of his soul. So I don't want to wrap this out. It was that a fine man. Till next time, I say shalom.